Good day or good evening, Kaiju Collectors. It is Thomas here, and we have a very special box day. I literally just got this from the postal carrier, and I wanted to take some quick footage. So let's do a quick unboxing so we can get to the good part. All right, now this is not my first figure from this particular artist, but I did ask them last time by message if they could put more stuffing inside. It looks like they did not they did not heed my advice, but it does look like it's secure. So we will find out. Put the box down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without any more hesitation can you guys see what it is it is the mecca mecca that's what it is and this is the gold and green it's basically like mecca godzilla and this was shown not too long ago and lots of people were excited and i was one of them and and right after i ordered they actually showed another version and it was the classic like silver color and this and it had like a more blackish blackish overall body tone but this looks fantastic in this bag here and i'm gonna get this guy out right now all right so there it is guys the mechala number one and how nice they actually put a little protector on the tail I think that's the first yeah looks really nice and in case you guys haven't seen the header cards it's got the three fishes on there and they give a collectible decal so yeah it looks it looks really good first impression and I can't wait to get some close-ups and let's do that right now Here we have the Mecha La Aztec Gold Figure by Akima Tenshi. And this one uses the same sculpt from his very popular Zombie La run. This one features Mecha Godzilla underneath in a gold and black colorway. And I have to say, the contrast of colors between the green, black, and gold is very, is very striking. And they did a great job. I think this is going to be a very popular one. And I think. This particular artist keeps getting better and better and there's more interesting ones coming down the pipeline let's take a closer look at mecca along his neck head and even his chest area he's got all these little dots and they remind me of rivets or parts that have been welded together he also has a cybernetic eye with no pupil on this side here i noticed on his dorsal plate there is something protruding it might be a thruster or maybe an exhaust port and his dorsal plates are beautifully done and overall his coloration is like a green black and even gives off a blue hue and on this side which is the more godzilla side he has a red eye with a pupil remaining and this is a beautiful figure overall <laughs> For comparison number one, we have the Medicom Ansaku Anraku Gamma version number one. And this one is a pretty large figure. For comparison number two, we have the Passion Tank Custom Painted Chin Godzilla. 
by the talented Kaiju Canvas. Check out those flames on his legs. It looks incredible. And for comparison number three, we have the original first Zombie La version number one called Apocalypse. And these two look awesome side by side. And for comparison number four, we have a, another recent release of the Zombie La called Bazilzebub. And this one has the translucent vinyl and incredibly vibrant colors. Once again, these two look insanely cool together. And up next, we have all the figures together. And as far as a review for this Mechalove figure, I give it a very high score. It is definitely different from the Zombie Love releases, and I'm definitely pleased. I think you guys would be too. And I recommend you guys try to grab one if you can. Okay, guys, I'm back. I hope you like my quick review on this Mechalove figure by Akuma Tenshi. This is an amazing release. It's beautiful and I can't wait to see what's in store for us. He has at least a couple of more fascinating ones coming out that I'm aware of. And he probably has even more that we, that we don't know yet. So please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more because I definitely got, got a couple more ideas coming up. So you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.